welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola. I'm here with my beautiful friend Morgan, and we are going to do the second portion of our full body workout. We're doing the upper body, so let's get started. Come to a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. Then on your next inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, placing the left hand down, reach over with the right. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, right hand comes down, reach over with the left. Inhale, back up. Moving at your own pace, two more rounds here. Breathing into the side body. Keeping your top shoulder back and down. And then last time, on your next inhale, where we're gonna reach the arms up and then twist to the left, reaching across with the right hand. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Try and keep yourself centered over your hips, the spine long. Moving with your breath, one more round here. Wonderful. Then we're going to reach our arms up one last time. Set our palms in front of you and then swing the legs around so you can come into your tabletop, knees underneath the hips, bend the elbows, pull them in. You can engage the pelvic floor up into the low ribs and then lengthen long from the spine to the tailbone. Inhale, lift the right arm straight out in front of you and then lift the left leg behind you. Exhale, round the spine, tucking knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. Really crunching and then inhale long. Place the right hand down but keep your left leg long and then curl the toes under as you set it on the ground behind you. Pull your shoulders back and bend your elbows as you press the front of your mat away, stretching into that left heel. Feeling this down your calf. We're gonna shift forward, bring your knee back underneath our hip, reset our foundation, and then inhale, lift the left arm long. Reach the right leg back behind us. Exhale, curling forward, using your whole core. Exhale, and then last time, inhale, lengthen. Place the left hand down, but keep the right leg long behind you as you tuck the toes. Bend the elbows, press the front of the mat away. Breathe down your back leg. And then when you're ready, shifting forward, you're gonna take your knees slightly behind the hips and get ready for a modified push-up here. So we're gonna shift our shoulders over the wrists, bend the elbows, lower our chest and chin to the mat, and then inhale, lifting up to a cobra, chest rises, exhale, back to your tabletop. And then same thing, exhale, lowering the chest and the chin, inhale, lifting the chest up, back to tabletop. And then repeating one more time, inhale, Exhale, tabletop, tuck the toes. Inhale, pull back into your downward dog. Pedal your feet, whatever you need here. Then we're going to lift our left leg, stack our left hip over the right, bend that knee, pressing through the heel. Exhale, take your left knee to your left elbow, shifting forward, and then inhale, restacking the hips. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back up. Last time, exhale, knee to elbow, and then lengthen long through that leg, and then set it down for downward dog. Pedal your feet, then lift your right leg up. Stack the right hip over the left, bending that knee. Keep your weight even in both palms, and then exhale, shift forward, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen, be mindful of the weight. Beautiful. Moving with your own breath. And then inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, set that foot down. Then we're gonna engage the whole core again. Bend the knees, look at the top of your mat. Step, hop, or float to the front. Good job, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, tailbone lengthens, chest rises. Bend the knees, forward fold, and then inhale, reach back up to standing. Coming into mountain pose, setting your foundation. We're gonna bring our arms up overhead. Take your left wrist into your right hand and then gently bend over to the right hand side, lengthening through the left side body. Top shoulder back and down. Inhale up, grab the opposite wrist and then 
bending over to the opposite side. Inhale up to center, two more rounds here on your own. Staying strong in your core, and breathing into both sides. Inhale up to center, and then exhale, swan dive over the toes, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step, hop, or float to the top of a plank. Exhale, go through your vinyasa or meet us in downward dog, whatever feels good for you in your practice. Now we're gonna really get into the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and lower our elbows to the earth, keeping our wrists in line with the elbows. Walk your toes up, 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 up towards your shoulders. Lifting the low belly, inhale, lift the left leg, exhale, lower, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower, and then inhale, lift that leg high and hold. Or you have the option to just stay with both feet on the floor, it's up to you. And then exhale, lower down. You can come into a modified child slash tabletop here, just to give the arms a rest for a moment. And then we're gonna reset our foundation, bringing the wrists back in line with the elbows. Tuck the toes, lift the belly up as you walk the toes in, and then inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold whatever level you're at. You can even bend your knee a little, but just try. Ooh, and good job, slowly lower, bringing the knees down. You can come into puppy pose, lowering your chest and underarms to the earth, keeping the hips lifted, or straight into a child's pose, whatever feels good for you. Eventually making your way into child's pose, we're gonna inhale, lengthen long, and then exhale, take the hands over to the left, stretch long through that right palm, and pull back on the right hip. Breathe into that side body. Inhale, walk the hands back to center, exhale, take the hands over to the right, Stretch long through the left hand, all the way back into that left hip. Breathe. And then when you're ready, making your way back to center, taking your time, letting go now. Stretching long from your tailbone all the way to your fingertips. Breathe into your whole back. And then gently, Walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Come to sit to your side so you can lay down on your mat. Taking your feet mat distance apart, swing your left leg over to meet your right and stack your left ankle on top of your right or next to it or under. Then start to walk the right shoulder blade down to meet your feet as you walk your left shoulder blade up, taking your left arm up overhead. You can bend that left elbow as much as you need. Ah, soften, where can you let go here? And then start to deepen the breath. We'll slowly walk the shoulder blades back to center and then bring the legs back to center. Taking the feet as wide as your mat, bring your right foot to meet your left. It might be different than last time, so play with that. Walk the left shoulder blade down as you bring the right up. Right arm comes overhead. You can bend it out to the side. Breathe down your whole side body. Letting go of all the places you're still holding on. And then eventually making your way back to center by engaging the right side body, bringing the shoulders and the feet back. Arms come up overhead. You can bend the elbows out to the side as much as needed, just softening the underarms towards the earth. And then eventually rolling to one side, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Great job and namaste. Oh, all right, I hope that you felt that in your arms and I hope you start to see results soon. Feel free to like and subscribe and also leave a comment for any questions and check out more.